In the saturated market of sports cars and custom cruiser motorcycles, a builder has to be innovative and stand out among the crowd. In order to survive in this industry, you basically have to design a product that's just beyond being attractive. It has to be reliable, durable, and one of the major weaknesses of the industry is everybody's just making a product that looks good and they don't focus on the engineering. Motorcycle enthusiast John Lay should know. His custom-built Viper Mamba recently went head-to-head -head against an F-16 jet fighter and won. Our motorcycle actually ran the half mile in 16.33 seconds, while the F-16 fighter jet did it in 19.5. So we actually beat the jet by over three seconds. We took a clean sheet of paper and engineered the motorcycle from the ground up using a very sophisticated software called Pro E Engineering. It's used at NASA, Boeing, and Mercedes-Benz, so we're able to fit all the components perfectly and do all the stress analysis and all the various fitting analysis right on the CAD before we go into modeling. From a 150 mile an hour bike, we go to the fastest street legal sports car in the world, the Melling Hellcat. It's got a V10 engine under the hood made from solid billet aluminum. Uh, if you open up the hood, it looks like jewelry. It's got carbon fiber bodywork, space age frame chassis, results in a 220 mile an hour, 700 horsepower sports car that should be the fastest sports car in the world. At around $35,000 for the bikes and around $300,000 for the Hellcat, these toys are not cheap, but as John explains, the price reflects the quality. If we look at the engine market from the standpoint of what sets us apart, we have an advantage from styling, we have an advantage from a performance feature because we generate more horsepower, and we have a durability advantage because we produce less heat.